Welcome back everyone. In the last video of this series, we finished our first part of this Vue.js frontend, which is connected to our Laravel API, where we are now able to send quotes to fill out this form and submit our quotes, send it to the back and store it there. And well, right now we can only view it in the Angular 2 frontend we built a couple of videos ago. In this video, we're going to add routing to this Vue.js application and add a page where we can view all the quotes we're fetching from the database so that we are able to view the quotes in the Vue.js application too. Let's start with that. I will start working on this in my quotes.view file in this component where I will add a template. Now I'll add a wrapping div since we must only have one root element in such a template here. And in this div, I want to add a button which allows me to press it which says get quotes to fetch all those quotes. And here I will simply add a class of button and then button primary. And of course I'll add a click listener to call on get quotes or any method you want to execute here and add a caption of get quotes to the button. And below it I'll add a horizontal line and then here I want to loop through all the quotes. Now in the Angular 2 frontend I created a separate component for this so let's do it here too. I'll add a new view file, quote, and this should hold a single quote. Now, a single quote should look exactly the same as in the Angular 2 project. So I'll add a template here with a div, and this div will receive a bootstrap class, the panel class, and then also the panel default class to give it this nice panel-like look. And you can have a look at the bootstrap documentation at the components there to find out how you may configure this and how it will look like, or you wait a couple of minutes. So this is the panel. Now inside of this panel, I wanna have a panel body which holds the actual quote. So I'll add a new div here with the bootstrap CSS class panel body. Here I want to output the, well, body of this quote, the content. But below this, I want to have a panel footer, which will give me some editing options. So in there, I actually want to have a div, which I only show conditionally, which will hold an input field, field type text, which is only shown if I click the edit button, which I'll now add, whoops, in the footer, in a second div, which I'll show as an alternative to the first div. This div will hold my actual buttons. So here I'll have a link where I will simply say edit and then another one where I will say delete to be able to well edit and delete those quotes. And I will add click listeners here. So here I wanna execute on edit and in the on the link below that, I want to execute on delete. In the first div where I have my input, I therefore, I will come back to this and edit this later, but for now I therefore want to add a button which allows me to save this. So here I will execute on update. And this is the method which should then actually reach out to the back end and commit those changes, save them on the server. I'll also have a second link which allows me to abort this operation. So here I will say on cancel. So if I decided otherwise, this will just cancel it, remove this div and bring me back to viewing mode instead of editing this. This is the general template I wanna use. Now in my quotes.view file, I want to use this quote.view component I just created. So I'll add a script here with my default export, the view instance responsible for this component. And there I will register this newly created component as a local component. So simply import quote from, well, the quote.view file, super simple. Should be a relative import though. And assign it here as a value. This allows me to now, whoops, not, not here, in a separate object with app quote as a selector. This is the correct syntax. So this allows me to use app quote here to create that template or that component to create an instance of this component. And of course I want to create this multiple times for each quote I have, right? So I kind of need to store all the quotes I will eventually fetch in some property and then loop through that property here in the template. So I will add the data method here in my view instance and return an object here. And in this object, again, I need to have a property which will store all my quotes. So I'll name those quotes and it will be an empty array initially. We will then fill this by reaching out to the web when hitting this get quotes button up here. Now with this array, I can create a loop here with v4 
and I want to loop through all the quotes. So with quote in quotes, I'm looping through all the quotes in this array. And now I also want to get this quote I'm currently at in this loop. So for each iteration, I want to pass this loop off this iteration, this quote off this iteration to this app quote component here. So I will kind of act like there were a property I could bind or some attribute I could pass. So I'll name this QT to avoid naming confusion and pass quote, the quote I'm currently at in this loop. So this one here as a value. Now this QT attribute here, however, is currently not bindable. So let's change this by going to the quote component, which is where I try to pass it and adding a script tag here too, exporting the default object again, this view instance, and there I'll add the props property, which allows me to define any properties which are settable from outside. Now we just saw there is one property I want to make settable, QT. So this will now make sure that in this component here at this template or in the whole component actually, I have access to this QT property, but it will be set from outside. So here in the panel body, I can therefore simply output it with string interpolation like this with QT and then the actual message will be stored in a field named content. We know this from our backend, this is how we receive the data. So this will now allow me to output the content of a quote. We'll hook up those buttons here later. Let's first make sure that we can actually click this on get quotes button here and get the quotes. So I'll add the methods object here and in there I'll add on get quotes, this method I'm executing when clicking this button up here. And here I again want to use Axios, we installed it in the last uh, video in this series, to reach out to my server and get all the quotes. So therefore, like a new quote, I need to import Axios. Let's simply copy this here, shall we? Like this. And then send a get request, something you can learn on the Axios GitHub page here. It works like this, get and then the URL. And of course, if you want to learn more about Axios, definitely have a detailed look at this page, how you may configure it and so on. So Axios get sends a get request. The URL we need to reach out to is the following here, your backend server slash API slash quotes. This will give me all the quotes stored there. So this is now, of course, also a promise or this get method here gives me back a promise, I should say, where we will eventually receive the response. We can then handle it here or let's also implement this. We could get an error, which I will for now simply log to the console. Now, I want to do something with that response, though. This response will hold my actual quotes. So I'm very interested in getting those quotes in the then block. I can simply log response to find out which data access gives us here and how we may get access to this list of quotes. Now, that would be a good idea. We could now click this button here, but we have no way of getting to the quotes component, right? Right now in the app.view file, we're only including the new quote component. We have no way of getting to quotes. So let's add routing. For this, we need to install the view router. So I'll open up a new tab in my terminal here and install it with npm and install npm install view router and add the save flag to also save an entry in package.json. I do have a video on routing here on this channel. So if you want to learn more about this, definitely have a look at this routing video. Now I could add a separate file for my routes. I will set up everything in the main.js file here since it isn't that much code, but you may of course change this. And I will begin by importing the router. So view router from view router like this. That is the first important step. Then I want to set up my routes and routes are an array in Vue.js. And each route then is a JavaScript object, which has a path, which I want to be an empty path for my quotes component. I will assign a component with the component property here. I therefore also need to import it, otherwise you just doesn't know where it lives. So that would be the quotes component from dot slash components, then the quotes, not quote, quotes dot view file. So this is the component I want to load when I just visit my project slash nothing. The new quote should actually be loaded at, let's say new quote, so slash new quote at the end. And here 
that should therefore be whoops be slash new quote you could say and that should be the new quote component which i also need to import new quote from the new quote.view file in the components folder here of course so here new quote so these are the two routes i'll have now with the routes i can set up the router this is a new view router instance and to view router i pass an object configuring this router now the first thing i will set up here is the mode which i'll set to history to use normal slashes instead of the hashtag mode because i like that and the view development server is set up to support this and then i will configure the actual routes stored in my routes constant here well, last but not least, this router has to be added on the router property of my root view instance. And with that, routing is initialized. Now, for that to work correctly, we also need a place to load our routes, though. So in the app.view file, here, where I loaded my app new quote, I will instead now load my route. And we do this with router view, which is a protected component the view router ships with, which is, again, like a placeholder where the actual route will be loaded. This of course now allows me to get rid of this component here in the view instance because we're using routing, no need to import it and set it up here as a local component. And for this to work correctly, I also need to use the view router. So back in the main.js file, I'll exit view use, view router, and this will unlock the router view we're using here, for example. Excuse me, we're using here, for example. So these components the view router ships with, for example. So with that being saved and the process still running, this is actually an old error. We can have a look at this and this looks good. We're loading the get quotes component. Now I will uh, show or I will try to go to new quote. Looks also good. So this works. Of course, it would be nicer to have some links here. So let's implement this uh, too. So I'll go back to my application here and I will simply duplicate this row here in the app.view file to now also have a place where I can place my links. In between, I'll simply place a horizontal line between those two rows. And here again, I wanna set up some links I can use. So here I use the router link component, the view router ships with, where I set up to where this link should lead to. So this will just be my quotes link, which will lead to just slash. And here for the second link, I wanna go to new quote. So here that is new quote the other link I have. And let's add a pipe symbol in between to have some separation. Also, to have this whole project not sit directly on the top edge and so on, I will add a simple style here where I will say on my app div here, I'll add a margin of 30 pixels, something like that. So that's nice. Now save this and have a look at the app. Looks good. And now we can navigate between the two routes, routes here. Let's now see if the get quotes button works. If I click it, we get back some data. So this seems to work. But how can we now access our quotes? Let's have a look at this object we got back. This is the object created by Axios, this package we're using to reach out to the server. Here we get a couple of properties and data looks promising. In data, we get a quotes property which holds our array of quotes. So this is what we need to access. Well, with that information, we can go back to the quotes component. And here where I now log the response, I will instead say this quotes, referring to this quotes property here, set up for this whole component, response data quotes, just like this. This will extract the quotes from the response and assign it to my quotes property here. Now with this, let's save it. And let's now see if this works. It should have reloaded if I click this again. We see the quotes here, but we also get a lot of errors. Though that is because all those click listeners here are not defined, but generally you see that this works. Now, of course, we need to make sure that this editing and so on works and that we only show this input if we click the edit button and so on. So let's finish this Vue.js application by next working on this.